Let's look again at constitutional amendment number two. Now with 77% of the vote in, a yes vote would have meant voters affirm there's no constitutional protection for abortions in the state, but that is failing by a vote of 54% to 46%. Mm -hmm. Now, if all of this holds, courts can still interpret abortion laws. Danielle Miskell has been following this issue all night long for us. She joins us now live again with more. Danielle. Yeah, so it's been a long road for activists on both sides of the coin of this issue. And that campaign trail started this summer and everything has led to this moment. However, as you just said, Marvin, those votes are still coming in. So let's go ahead and recap where we're at about right now. 80% of the completion rate, 54% of Kentuckians are voting no on the measure, meaning they want to keep abortion access and health care in the states. But 46% of Kentuckians have voted yes, meaning they want to ultimately ultimately change the language of Kentucky's constitution and not allow access to abortion or even funding for abortion. Now, earlier we heard from the Kentucky Coalition of Reproductive Freedom saying they would like to see Kentucky vote to keep the government out of this personal decision. Here's another update from their vice chair. Today, Kentuckians have soundly defeated Amendment 2 and made it clear that personal decisions like reproductive health care and abortion belong in the hands of the people affected in accordance with their own beliefs and uh, medical advice and not in the hands of their legislators. So her opponents are also reacting to this measure. They don't know what the outcome is going to be, but David Walls, who is the executive director of the Family Foundation here in Lexington, had some comments to share earlier. Here's what he said. The truth of the matter is, there are millions of us in this country who believe religious people should have a right to make their own choice about reproductive rights and to do that in concert with their family, their medical doctor, and their God. Woo! Okay, so. Actually, earlier I got to speak with David Walls. He is the executive director of the Family Foundation, and he told me that whatever the outcome of this measure is, they will still continue to fight for the life of the unborn child. Live in Lexington, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.